Oklahoma has owned the Big 12 for six consecutive seasons. Many believe that the Sooners will extend their dominance at the college football playoff in 2021. Welcome to the Voice of College Football, Oklahoma! Please like the video, share the videos on social media because not everybody knows that we're here talking Sooners every day with you. So please share the videos to keep the channel going. Uh, even if you don't agree with me all the time and the analysts that we have on here, uh, again, if you enjoy the presentation of Oklahoma content to keep the channel going strong, please share the videos on Twitter, Facebook, and other social media platforms and like the video. Subscribe too. Uh, to get us to a thousand and pass that. All right, Oklahoma win probabilities for 2021. The Sooners, of course, as I mentioned off the top, have owned the conference for six consecutive seasons and even well before that into the Bob Stoops era when he arrived on campus in 1999. For the most part, they've owned the Big 12, but they've been pushed in the conference championship game the last two years in particular. Baylor took them to overtime. Iowa State had the ball down by six in Oklahoma territory late. So do the um, Sooners win again, or do the Cyclones or somebody else push past Oklahoma? All right, win probabilities. Here we go. From the most likely, Western Carolina at 99%, September 11th game. The Catabounts are playing a split season. They played some games in the fall. They're resuming the calendar uh, here in the spring, they play their final game on March 27th. What a strange season for some of these FCS teams in particular because uh, Western Carolina started their season on November 14th. Then they took a break. Then they came back and played some more games into uh, late March and finished 1-8. and eight. And Oklahoma, 99% certainty of winning this game. Many would say, Mark, it's 100%. Well, as long as there are athletes on the field that can run and catch, I'm going to go 99%. That's going to be my ceiling. All right, Oklahoma at Kansas. You would think conference game. It wouldn't be anything close to a FCS opponent, but it's Kansas. And the turmoil is real at Kansas. Emma Jones has taken over as interim coach. Kansas is still looking for a full-time coach uh, off the Les Miles debacle. Not necessarily on the field as he was starting to turn things around. It appeared a couple of years ago with three decent wins. And then now they've lost 13 consecutive games. And of course, uh, because of his off-field issues at LSU, uh, Les Miles is no more. Uh, Oklahoma won this game 62-9 this past year. They've defeated the Jayhawks 16 consecutive times. Owned the series 78-27-6. and 98% chance of Oklahoma winning on the road in Lawrence. Oklahoma going in the road against a non-Power 5 team. Uh, we'd have to go into the annals to see the last time the Sooners did this. Went on the road against a group of five team. They're going to Tulane. I'm guessing the last time Oklahoma would have done this, maybe against Houston or Tulsa, possibly. But uh, Oklahoma going to New Orleans to take on Tulane on September 4th. Give the Sooners a 94% chance of winning this game. Uh, in the only meeting in the history of these two programs, uh, Lincoln Riley in his first year defeated Tulane 56-14. Texas Tech is the opponent on uh, October 30th. This has been a series of high-flying shootouts. Bob Stoops, Mike Leach. It was 62-28 this past year, so Oklahoma just dusted Texas Tech. They've won nine straight in the series. This is not a long-standing Big 12 rivalry because, of course, Oklahoma, their roots are in the uh, Big 8, and Texas Tech was in the Southwest Conference, and they didn't play much. The, their first meeting was in 1992, so relatively young series. Oklahoma owns it 22-6, to six, and they've got a 92% chance of defeating Matt Wells' squad on October 30th. Oklahoma and Nebraska. Now there's a long-standing Big 8 rivalry. Uh, for many people, this is going to bring back all sto sorts of nostalgia and memories. Seeing Nebraska and Oklahoma, who owned the Big 8, it was always a Thanksgiving weekend game. Oh, the games through the 70s and 80s in particular, into the 90s of these two squads battling for the Big 8 and the Orange Bowl berth. Maybe not necessarily is it going to live up to those kind of 
memories because uh, Nebraska is still down, coming off four consecutive losing seasons. And, of course, Oklahoma's on top of its game. They last met, though, in a very competitive 2010 Big 12 championship game. Oklahoma won a 23-20. to Oklahoma has got to be one of the few schools, maybe the only school with a ton of games in the series to be leading Nebraska. It's 45-38-3. and three. They meet on September 18th. Oklahoma's got a 90% chance of defeating Nebraska this time around. On to Baylor, and again, I mentioned off the top, Baylor almost winning the Big 12 two years ago, an overtime game in the championship game against OU. And uh, in the regular season that year, Baylor jumped out huge. Uh, 21-0, 21-3, 28-3, something like that comes to mind. Oklahoma came all the way back, won, I believe, 31-28. They go to Baylor on November 13th. Baylor won three of four in this series around 2014. Uh, Oklahoma, though, leads this series 28 to three. <laughs> so they've owned Baylor other than that little stretch under Art Bryles uh, when Baylor almost went to the college football playoff in 2014. Give Oklahoma an 89% chance of defeating Baylor the game in mid-November. West Virginia had the best pass defense in college football statistically in 2020. They take on the Sooners on September 25th, the game in Norman. OU's won eight straight since West Virginia entered the Big 12, and they lead the all-time series at 10-2. Give uh, the Sooners an 85% certainty of defeating the Mountaineers and Neil Brown. On October 2nd, circle the calendar, Sooner fans. Revenge, payback time against... Kansas State. Kansas State probably cost Oklahoma reaching a college football playoff appearance this past season. Two years ago, the Sooners made it in 2019 to the playoffs, but they lost to Kansas State. Uh, These have been interesting games against K-State. Close games down to the last possession. And Oklahoma owns the series. Of course, Kansas State was nothing on the map of college football before Bill Snyder. 76-21 and four Sooners all time. Give Oklahoma, despite Kansas State having their number under Chris Kleiman, give the Sooners an 82% chance of winning this game, even on the road at Kansas State. TCU's the opponent for Oklahoma, one of the better teams in recent years, of course, in the Big 12 under Gary Patterson. We outlined our top Big 12 coaches on our main channel. Check out that video. I ran down the coaches along with Jason Ray of Last Word on College Football uh, and ranked them 1 through 10. And Gary Patterson, of course, very highly ranked. Uh, 33-14, Oklahoma won this game. Last year, the Sooners have won seven straight. They own the series 16-5 and give Oklahoma a 79% chance of defeating TCU at home on October 16th. All right, huge rivalry, but it's been lopsided. Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, the game in Stillwater coming up on November 27th. Oklahoma won the matchup 41-13. Before that game last season, the Cowboys were playing the best football in the Big 12. But Oklahoma, of course, got off to the slow start, and then they pulled it together with the defense, with Spencer Radler playing uh, mistake-free football after some miscues early, and they trounced the Sooners, or the uh, Cowboys, 41-13. 41-13. Sooners have won six straight. They own the series 90-18 to with seven ties. Mike Gundy has done a lot of good things in Stillwater. He can't beat Oklahoma. What's the series score? I think 14-2 to under Gundy. Sooners. Give them a 66% chance of winning on the road in this one. Texas comes up on October 9th. Of course, uh, one of the great rivalries in college football as well. The Sooners won at 53-45 last year. OU's won three straight. Texas leads the series, though, still 62-49 with five ties, even though it's an OU series since 2000 at 15-7. 2000, of course, Bob Stoops' second season. Give Oklahoma a 62% chance of defeating their rival Longhorns. Uh, Game coming up on October 9th. And finally, the least likely game that Oklahoma will win in 2021, but still more than a 50-50 shot against Iowa State. The Cyclones are coming. 
folks. 27-21 game in the Big 12 championship game as Oklahoma raced out to a big lead, three scores, held on for the victory, picking off Brock Purdy late. Purdy's back, Brees Hall, Charlie Kohler at tight end, one of the best in the nation. Xavier Hutchinson at wide receiver. Uh, something like 20 of 22 on the um, two deep depth chart. Offense, defense. But uh, this game, second to the last game of the season. Should be huge. Uh, they split, of course, in 2020. Iowa State winning the regular season matchup. OU leads the all-time series. Get this one. 77-7. Two ties. 77-7. A series that goes all the way back to 1928. And uh, give Oklahoma a 58% chance of winning the game at home against Iowa State. And that should be the conference decider. As things shake out, and uh, project ahead right now. Based on the projections, it looks like an Oklahoma conference followed by Iowa State and then TCU and Texas with a puncher's chance and Oklahoma State as well. All right. Would love to get your win probabilities down below. Let us know where we missed it right here at the Voice of College Football. And please subscribe. Share the videos out on social, out on social media as well. Right here on the Voice of College Football, OU.